everyone. My name is Ayman Chaudhary, and I'm the head of the UN Global Compact Network Canada. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our interview series with business leaders. As a network of responsible businesses, and as the Canadian chapter of the world's largest corporate sustainability initiative, UN Global Compact, our role here is to inspire more businesses to adopt sustainable practices and contribute to the sustainable development goals, which in short, we call the SDGs. This interview series is to showcase outstanding actions that accelerate the global goals undertaken by our network members. Our objective here is to highlight ambitious actions implemented by leaders to fast forward the 2030 agenda through the implementation of the 10 principles of the UN Global Compact. Our aim is also to identify and recognize efforts from companies accelerating the integration of sustainability into their core business management. We keep these interviews short and packed with inspiring information for our audience. And we are glad to feature today, Mark Duchesne from Bell as our business leader. Mark is the Vice President, Corporate Security and Responsibility at Bell. And just for your information, Bell has been an active participant of the UN Global Compact since June 2006. So without a further ado, let's welcome our guest today. Hello, Mark. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for joining the call. Um, it would be great if you kindly share a little bit about Bell and your role in the organization. Yeah, absolutely. For those who uh, who do not know, uh, Bell Canada is a uh, is a Canadian wide uh, telecom provider, but also media company, and we offer um, you know various services from uh, internet, TV. Um, wireless, wireline services, and uh, we are also a uh, diversified uh, media organizations um, uh, invested in many uh, TV, radio channels uh, across the country. So we are truly a coast to coast to coast organization, as we uh, as we like to say. And my role in uh, in Bell Canada is basically, uh, as you stated, uh, security and responsibility. So security's got you know, the cyber security aspects and uh, other various security programs, including fraud prevention and others. And on the responsibility front, I do have accountability for uh, the company's uh, corporate responsibility uh, strategy, as well as our disclosure reporting. And uh, also uh, the team is accountable for uh, environmental management and, uh, and health and safety. That's excellent. Thank you so much for sharing that information. So what would you say, like, what are the main drivers of sustainability ambition in your organization? That's a good question. Um, you know, I, th I think they are the same as in, in many other organizations that are really focusing on, on, on sustainability as, um, as a strategic pillar of their, of their corporate strategy. Um, I would say uh, things that in the recent years have become even more important. Um, I'll say talent attraction and retention. We've been saying this for 15 years. I think it is it is more true than ever. I think that uh, you know the younger population uh, is really looking for organizations that uh, have their values aligned to their personal values, and so for us, that's a significant driver. Um, the other aspect. Uh, also that is gaining uh, a little bit more momentum, I would say, is all of the responsible investment moving, movement. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing more and more of investors interested in uh, you know, what we are doing, uh, not just around climate, but around diversity and other you know, important uh, elements of our, um, of our ESG or corporate responsibility initiatives. Um, those are, I will say, increasingly um, important mm -hmm. uh, from the perspective that stakeholders are becoming a little bit more uh, opinionated and voices are being heard a little bit more. Uh, and then obviously um, being, uh, you know, the company that we are, we do offer, uh, you know, at our core services that enable, um, I'll say, social and environmental benefits and well-being. And therefore, um, it's an area that we've always known and always focused on, but we are uh, focusing a little bit more around that. How, you know, how can we do an even bigger difference? Mm -hmm. How can our products and services help our customers 
propel their greenhouse gas emission strategy or uh, you know their societal um, their societal challenges. I think the pandemic has been a good example of that. Mm-hmm. that Absolutely, connectivity has become so critical. Um, obviously, a large fo- focus of us deploying and accelerating our network development plans to make sure that our customers can reap the you know social economic benefit as well of having better access to our products and services. That's wonderful. Thank you again for sharing that information. Uh, Mark, we have seen that environmental protection and addressing climate change are at the core of Bell's corporate responsibility approach. What would you say that what are some of the notable initiatives Bell has undertaken recently to stay committed to this approach? Well, that's a, that's a good question. We've done, we've done a number of things. I'll say that probably our journey starts um, a number of years ago. I think it was 2008. When we first created within the company what we called uh, our energy board, so mm-hmm. we got um, you know people from across the organization to sit together at a table and and start talking about our you know different energy risks, but also uh, you know what are the climate change uh, you know ramifications to our our, um, our posture. So looking both at you know impacts of our infrastructure. Uh, how do we need to potentially adjust some of our uh, designs from a network perspective to be able to adapt? How do we need to think about different power sources? Um, how do we deal with you know increasing uh, number of uh, weather events or extreme weather events that uh, that we have to deal with? Obviously, our network is you know mm-hmm. everywhere, and so impact yeah. there. And uh, and then that you know culminated into us. Uh, you know, taking, I'll say, a couple steps forward and, and setting two ambitious goals, one of being a carbon neutral for our internal operations. So scope one and scope two emissions by 2025. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, you know, uh, adopting science-based targets uh, by uh, 2030. And um, the, the, you know, what are we doing in the background to be able to enable that? Um, we've basically created a, a green budget within the organization. So we now mm-hmm. have a capital source that, you know, we can draw on to. Uh, our team as across the business has created an innovation working group where we're actually assessing uh, all sorts of great initiatives that can make us more efficient <clears throat> from an energy perspective and reduce our carbon emissions. And then ultimately this will lead to enhancements across the business, whether it be you know, enhancements in our real estate portfolio, whether it be, uh, you know, our network deployment or how we, you know, basically provide power to uh, remote sites through uh, renewable energy, or um, obviously this a significant part of our, of our plan is, uh, is the, um, the transformation of our, of our fleet into um, uh, an e-fleet. So electric vehicle uh, purchasing uh, is also an, an important aspect of this. So there's a lot of stuff happening around the mm-hmm. company and we've got, you know, everybody involved across, you know, all the business units and divisions and it's, you know, up and down the organizations from technicians uh, to our board of directors. Thanks, Mark, for sharing those uh, great uh, initiatives with us. I'm glad that you have mentioned about the green budget uh, because my next question is more about that one because I think last year Bell announced the sustainable financing framework that links to several of the United Nations sustainable development goals, which are designed to support positive environmental and social impacts in our communities and across the country. Could you please tell us a little bit more about the SDGs that Bell is prioritizing in this framework and how is Bell evaluating the process? Absolutely. So thank you for, uh, for raising that. Uh, we are very proud to have been uh, the first telecom to put forward a, a sustainability bond. Um, and, and the framework that we've built is really around, as you mentioned, the you know, e- economic, social, environmental benefits that we bring to society. The green budget that I was discussing is really an internal governance framework to manage how we achieve um, you know, our carbon reduction goals. Uh, so on the framework side, um, there are uh, a number of SDGs that we do contribute to. I'm just going to sort of highlight three, but we have included others um, as part of the framework to give us, you know, the ability to eventually evolve to a bit of a larger um, scope. Uh, so SDG 9 around industry, innovation, and infrastructure. So 
uh, all of our digital access initiatives, our network deployment, as I was saying before, uh, you know, certainly falls into making sure that people have access to the latest technologies that enable them to generate, uh, you know, social and environmental good. Um, SDG 11, Sustainable Cities, uh, we do have a lot of uh, processes and programs around uh, our internal green buildings, eco-efficiency processes, but also um, our whole initiatives around uh, smart cities and our deployment of IoT technologies for um, you know better monitoring, whether it be in air, energy, water, uh, conservation, all sorts of, uh, of applications to that technology. And then SDG 12 around responsible consumption and production. Okay. Uh, so this would be, uh, you know, clean transport, uh, lower emissions, um, green energy alternatives to uh, some of our, our sites that operate in uh, in Norton uh, regions of the country that are off the grid, for example. Um, so those would be, I'd say, the three major ones. Excellent. And uh, what is the process that you have currently in place to evaluate the impact that uh, you're making through these SDGs? So the process that we've put together, we basically have put, so we have something that's called, I talked to you about the energy board before. Mm -hmm. We also have a corporate responsibility board. So the corporate mm -hmm. responsibility board within the company is formed of about, um, I'll say 40 uh, folks from across the business. It truly cuts across, cuts across the business. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's from, I'll say, senior vice presidents to, you know, VP and director level. And that group is basically, um, created a sub working group composed of uh, the finance team, the corporate responsibility team, and uh, mainly the network team, but also uh, you know, a large part of input from our real estate team as well. And um, we look at the um, initiatives that we think are, are contributing the most. And then we map that against our strategic plans in terms of you know, the company's priorities, whether it would be regards to network deployment or carbon reduction. And then uh, we basically put those against, uh, you know, the bond. And uh, therefore, we, uh, you know, we are also working with financial partners on this, but we sort of set um, our, our, I'll say our, our division of, of spend based on, uh, you know, these different categories. So our current bond is separated between affordable infrastructure uh, on the on the um, on the social side and energy efficiency on the green side. So uh, we have set targets for um, I'll say three areas around affordable basic infrastructure, and then our um, you know our energy efficiency objectives with regards to um, effective network deployment and substitution by technology that is. Um, basically enable us to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. That's wonderful. Thank you so much again for sharing those with us. Um, Mark, as we both know that uh, all the goals that we have mentioned and discussed here, it is impossible to actually achieve those goals without a successful partnership framework. And we are very glad to actually be working with Bell for almost like more than 12 years now to uh, work on this sustainability journey. So I just wanted to quickly hear from you about uh, this uh, value of partnership. Like, what would you say, like, how is the UN Global Compact is strengthening Bell's commitment to advance its sustainability goals? Yes, thank you for raising that. That's, that is very important because when we, if we go back to 2006, when we, when we first uh, joined the movement, um, you know, we, 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 I remember I was there and I was sort of leading that and, and we had debated at the time, you know, should we have a sustainability policy with the company? We already had sort of environmental policy and safety policy, and we had, you know, all the human rights issues covered and all that as part of our internal processes. But the question was, now that sustainable development is becoming so important, what should we do? Like, should we need to have like another policy that overlays this? And my reflection at the time, which I still think was sort of the right thing to do, was we said, well, we don't need another policy. We already have these policies. What we need is we need a commitment we need to hang on to something that is external to us and that will help us sort of propel our program. And so that's where we said, let's adhere to uh, the global compact principles. And, you know, we basically, I convinced the BC board at the time to, mm -hmm. to adhere to it. It wasn't hard. Uh, everybody thought that was a great idea. 
And since then, it's kept, it's kept us, um, you know, obviously connected with the evolution. It's kept us connected with a number of other UN initiatives, whether it be UNPRI or, you know, the SDG evolutions and all that. And I think it's, um, it's also provided us a great network of, of like-minded organizations, whether it be at the UN itself or, uh, you know, other partner uh, organizations that you have in your network. Um, to us, that has been extremely valuable. And I remember we hosted, you know, a couple of sessions of brainstorming and, you know, we, we are totally committed to being even more engaged and involved just because we think that, um, you know, collaboration and information sharing between, you know, the different network members is, uh, is of absolute importance. We have uh, very significant challenges ahead of us, as we know. And, uh, mm-hmm. you know, this is, uh, this is a team sport. We have to, uh, we have to work on this together and uh, we're super proud uh, to be a member and uh, really looking forward to uh, continued collaboration. And I want to thank you and then the whole uh, Global Compact team for the support that you've provided uh, all along the years. Thank you. That's so wonderful to hear, Mark. And thank you so much for the continued commitment from the Bell to work with us on this uh, very important and uh, the timely journey that we are all kind of uh, working together. Uh, well, thank you so much, Mark. And thanks for mentioning UN Global Compact as one of the strong partners in your sustainability journey. And I would like to thank you again for your time today and for sharing your insights with our audience. I'm sure we will hear more amazing news coming out from Bell, communicating the commitments to sustainability and the SDGs. So with that, I would like to conclude today's interview series. Thank you again for listening to today's interview session. I welcome you to attend the next one. Please stay tuned. Thank you.